Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new leak of Legends video. So as usual, we're going to be going over the big changes coming over to next patch. And my goodness, this is going to be a big patch. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, rank season is done, which of course also means that, well, we have the new preseason literally around the corner. So that should be the next patch. I will right? we'll go over very quickly of the preseason changes. There's of course an absolute disgusting amount of them, which I have discussed before, but you know, very quickly breach our touch and brief on those once again. Also, of course, there are going to be new skins coming out and all that good stuff so let's just get this party started if you guys enjoy don't forget to hit that like button but quick little message first from our boys at guess so this video is going to be sponsored by u.gg so i'm sure you guys are aware that u.gg is a great website to look up in-game stats the cool thing is now they actually have an actual desktop app and the cool thing is if you're in champ select you can actually use the app for your champ select itself as well which is cool it gives you a bunch of information so it'll give you uh information about every single person on your team their rank their win rate etc how many games they've played so as an example you can see this guy's hovering twitch and uh, obviously the champ select itself and it's saying that it's his first time on twitch first game on twitch in the last 30 days so it'll give you that kind of information which could be really important to kind of realize and understand and on top of that guys they also have at the top right in game this little stats window that'll kind of give you an idea as to how well you're performing you know your gold cs per minute your kill participation your vision per minute your level and just kind of give you an idea of what you're doing well on and what you can probably improve on so guys the best part this app is completely free to use the link is down below definitely check it out and download it yourselves try it out see how you like it but either way Let's jump into this. Okay, so let's check out the skin. So we have, you can see here, a debonair brand and prestige, Master Yi, Zed, Leona, LeBlanc, Draven, and Malzahard. Let's take a look. This is brand, of course. Debonair brand. I mean, okay. Okay. Mm. Looks pretty cool, though. Wait, is it like a barkeeper? Oh, maybe? I don't know. Looks pretty cool. And that's the prestige version, of course, of the debonair brand. Looks really, really sick. I like it. I mean, the prestige one looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. I love that color aesthetic. Looks super sexy. Ooh, the match? Damn, that sword, though. Okay. I do like the sword. Oh. Okay. Okay. Looks pretty sick. Dude, that's a fancy-ass looking, um... Like, coat jacket thing. I don't know what to call those exactly. Damn. The shades and everything. Oh, okay. Oh! Uh, oh. Dude, Zed got some style over here, though. Ladies and gentlemen. Got some swag. Guy yeah, knows how to dress. I must say, I, I gotta take a few pointers from this. Look at this. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe, oh, maybe not. Oh, wait, the Venom? <laughs> a new Leona skin? Okay, it's only her 20th skin. I mean, Leona skins are always aesthetic. I mean, that shield looks great. The good thing about Leona is there's so many things you can do with the shield for the aesthetic stick. It's just. just... Lol, that's pretty cool, actually. Oh, LeBlanc, man, look at that. Oh, the chain and everything. I like the green and white aesthetic, actually. It looks pretty sick. Okay, they didn't really show a whole lot of the Blanco, to be completely honest. I was just like really quick. Damn the Draven though. Oh, the Draven looks pretty. Bro, I have to say, I like the Zed one. And not to sound biased or anything, of course, but like, you know, it looks clean, man. Like, I have to say, of all the ones that we just saw, other than maybe Prestige Brand, I have to say Zed looks, I think, the best, man. I... Oh, okay. I mean, this Mazar skin looks like I like the little mask. Oh. Now, I do have to say this, that one looks the best, ladies and gentlemen. I, again, I don't want to seem biased or anything like that, but damn, does that one look clean. My goodness. So there's all the skins right there for the Prestige Edition. There's also something really quick I want to touch on right here. So something called Challengers uh, should be launching to PBE. So not to the live server, but PBE. Build and don't look at his fake minimap overlay. He's up. I don't know what the hell that was. Uh, Challengers to launch to PBE in the next couple of weeks and live to early next year. So that's something to keep in mind, right? Of course, I think we touched on this briefly a while ago but they are gonna have these new challenges which of course is just ways to kind of you know incentivize you to like go for certain things objectives whatever while playing the legends like a little side thing if you will so i thought i would you know touch on that really quickly but of course by far the biggest change coming to this preseason is ladies and gentlemen going to be of course the new preseason now there's gonna be a bunch of changes the biggest ones by far of course are going to be the changes to some items and of course new items as well and the two new dragons hextech and chem tank those are the, by far the biggest changes coming over so let's go over it really quickly so we have crown of the shattered queen which is essentially like a persistent mini zonis if you will very defensive item for mages against uh, burst damage tldr and you have of course uh even 
even shroud or ever shroud. I don't know if it's a typo. Even shroud, right? Which gives you uh, repentance after immobilizing a champion or being immobilized. Cause them and only by enemies to repent. This is essentially like a Leona type uh, new support item, uh, which is of course really really powerful with the mythic passive. So it is of course a mythic item. Frostfire gauntlet, very similar to what it used to be, with just slight differences. Of course, right? Still has that whole AOE slow and everything. Turbo chem tank. Also, you know, I more or less similar to what it used to be, but it has this kind of cool effect of refuel. 100 stacks. Your next basic attack deals magic damage to all nearby enemies. Pretty cool stuff as well being a mythic item which is approach a uh, pretty powerful item it's like a uh man immune archangel for tanks uh we can see as of course you uh, gain bonus health equal to the percent mana and then it evolves into fimble winter which of course uh, mobilizing or slowing melee only an enemy champion consumes three percent of your current mana grants a shield for three seconds pretty cool stuff there axiom arc is the new lethality item which essentially gives you a massive uh, cooldown reduction uh 25 percent of your total abilities or ultimates cooldown not current but like the actual overall cooldown 25 percent of that is instantly refunded as you get an assist or kill takedown uh then you have shadow flame which is a new ap item which is uh pretty powerful actually i think this item is extremely powerful right damage to champions benefit from uh, extra magic penetration based on their current health so it's like a dynamic <sighs> void staff ish type item really cool stuff actually it's pretty powerful in my opinion it could be really strong on the cassiopeia cosmic drive little mini changes over here for it as well slightly different stats 30 ability haste now which is great uh, and after damaging champions with three separate attacks or spells you get uh, a bunch of extra movement speed and ability power pretty powerful stuff horizon focus honestly more or less the same thing just now works with something like rylize which is fine a demonic embrace overall very similar concept um now i believe this part's new though the convert two percent of your bonus health to ability power i believe is the new part but other than that very similar item seraph's embrace pretty powerful item now by the way because you gain ability haste equal to your percent bonus mana and you restore health equal to 40 percent of the mana spent so imagine that on like cassiopeia force of nature of course uh some small uh decent changes here as well right five percent movement speed Absorb, take magic damage from champions, grants a stack of Steadfast. Uh, enemy immobilizing effects grant an additional two stacks and with the cool effect of Dissipate as well. Knight's Vow being the support item, right? Slight changes as well. And Abyssal Mask as well. Uh, cursed, enemy, cursed nearby enemies reducing their magic resistance for each cursed enemy gain seven magic resist. And then, of course, we have some mini changes coming over to the runes. Lethal Tempo now essentially is uh, a Conqueror version just with attack speed instead that's the easiest way to think about it glacial augment honestly more or less the same just more slows that's the easiest way to think about it right now it causes three glacial rays similar just more slows and then first strike pretty busted rune i made a gameplay of it if you haven't seen it check it out with like uh, essentially when you attack someone the first time and you're the first one to deal damage it procs you start dealing bonus damage like 10 percent, i believe uh roughly a bonus damage as true damage i believe it is um and he gets here causing tax to deal 12%, sorry, extra damage against champions and granting 100%, 74 range units of that damage dealt as gold. Pretty powerful item, actually. So watch out for that, guys. Really, really powerful item or uh, keystone, rather. Uh, objective bounties are new things as well. So essentially, if you're behind, now on top of champions having bounties, uh, objectives will have bounties like turrets, dragons, baron, even. Uh, and as you get them as being the team uh, that's currently playing from behind, it gives you a little bit of extra gold if you're able to actually secure it, which is cool. And of course, we have the two new dragons being Hextech and chem tank right so the terrain on chem tech is essentially gives you this kind of like um fog of war type effect and then uh the dragon soul gives you essentially like a mini scion passive and the standard buff gives you bonus damage against enemies with more current health than you and then of course you have the hex tech dragon which is this one up here uh the map effect is essentially those little portals you saw i'm sure from gameplays of my my gameplays as well uh you have the standard buff which gives you attack speed and ability haste to the team that delivers the killing blow and the dragon soul uh is essentially like a static shiv type effect uh to your uh, attacks and abilities which is really really cool but either way that's it for this video guys let me know what you think about it down below those are the major changes coming to next patch pretty big patch of course but either way thank you all so much for watching see you guys on the rift peace